Good evening. Yeah, we lost. Lieutenant Colonel. I have Boss. Pascal Nazari, who is a retired investment banker, Swiss, born in Lucerne. He's also a filmmaker and author and loves, and loves yachts. Now, Pascal, just a warning before we kick off, where the comms are a little bit uh, yes. dicey. So if at any point I drop out, please feel free to keep going, and uh, I'm sure you'll uh, you'll need no guidance to keep the Australians up to speed. Now, as I said at the beginning, Australia's a little behind in their understanding of the biggest of big pictures. So if you can just gently guide us uh, yeah. in the recent past, where we've been going, what's been happening, and then, uh, as you said, fast track to today. Yeah. And uh, they will they will rebel if I don't point out the fact they want to know who's been arrested. What uh, yeah. Judge, Judge Ad, Advocate General Crandall is uh, has been up to, yeah, and that that sort of thing. So, sir, over to you. Welcome to Australia. The sh the floor is yours. Thank you, sir, and it's a great honor to to talk to you, a military commander. I have greatest respect for the military, my comrades, you, because we defend the constitution. I come to that point very quickly. I want to greet at this stage all Australians. <laughs> And New Zealanders next door don't hate each other. You're wonderful people in the same corner of the world and you're not down under. We'll come to that later. I greet you all, ladies and gentlemen there and boys and girls too. They, they youth, we need to pull them along, right? They're the future. And I also give special greetings now to all Australian servicemen and women that are serving in the um, armed forces and special forces of Australia and New Zealand in the war alliance under title 50 usc 1550 which is declaration of a global worldwide defense war which is now visible in the house.gov the congressional website of the united states declared 20th, 20th of december 2019 we only talk about things here which are now referenced through united states property websites.gov we'll make this point very clear this is no opinion making no religious belief selling no belief system at all selling. It's not about a president, in fact, at all. No. It, this is about the divine human species and God. Yeah. And we will talk about that. So I want to first give also compliments, please, to all, of course, United States and all military service men and women that are jointly, jointly fighting the most dangerous, most deadly war ever in the biggest ever assembled, commanded war machine to defend and protect the human, divine human species on our divine earth. This, door, this war was, is finished. This war comes to an end. This war is not just since 2019 officially declared. It is, it's a bit older, we'll come to that later. But we talk about recent things now. First message to you all, please take it from me. I'm alive with the Space Force. Look, it's cool. Huh? Young, we need young people. You can you can by the way apply to the Space Force, spaceforce.center. You go dot com. You go to um, applicants. You can go for the civil service or the military. We're recruiting now worldwide. But have a look, young people. You want to go and do something really cool. We need everybody. Any country can apply, right? So you can see, we are a globe. We're everywhere now. We're everywhere protecting you. Everywhere. Please have no more fear. That's the first message. Stop fear, please. You might see some remnants of some crazy politicians or some stupid so-called, I don't say the word, you know what to, what to call these people, making some silly statements, frightening statements. It's over. The provocation to awake you, you must understand, is also over because people were sleeping. Let's go to COVID because that's the burning question. I just was in I was in Melbourne um, writing on a new film script, my own film about the assassination of my father. That was, I was there, when was I there? In October 22, Melbourne, near Melbourne. It was on um, Bell's Beach, Changjuk, where all the surfers go. And uh, our friends there, uh, one is a great Croatian lady and her partner, Tony Ray, famous Australian surfer, by the way, famous. Um, he's in retirement now. 
and I was in Australia and people were scared. People were scared. And especially people in Melbourne, they said they're going to have 15 minute cities. And then I spoke to the good, what's her name, the journalist uh, in Australia. Ah, you know her, she's famous. Um, I have a hole in my head now. I'm sorry. Maria Z, nice person. And she told me what's going on and the leaflets that are coming around, that the military was trained to shoot at human beings and stuff like that, and citizens. Okay, stop. It is over. Okay. Then you will all, and I, I come to the point, straight to the point. We are at war. That's title 50, USC 1550. It's a worldwide defense war with partner forces, regular and irregular. Now, the I can declare that it's visible on the radar pictures of Derek Johnson. Great buddy of mine made this book. Where is this thing? Why can't I show this? I'm sorry. This is really, yeah. The Midnight Rider, that's his book, has all the documents, only official documents and military orders that are publicly accessible in Amazon. You can get it also on his website. Derek Johnson, my buddy, US military veteran. I think you spoke with him, Lieutenant Colonel Bossy, as well. This is a worldwide defense war, again, where the United States president, current wartime president Trump, called for partner forces, called on them. That's a call. You must come. On regular and irregular partner military forces and special operations. Now, that's a bit of a broad definition. That's good this way, because we don't tell the enemy what we do. And he said that when he, when he first landed, he said, we will not tell you what we do but attack we will. And people didn't get it. Mm. And the enemy on the forefront, people think, oh, war, tanks on the streets. Uh-uh. You saw, all wars that you saw, grew up with, like I did, were wrong wars. Wrong wars. Illegal wars by the globalist deep state. We'll come to that later. Killing millions of innocent people. You saw the B-52s dropping bombs. You take any theater, Vietnam, Korea. The list is so long, it's so abhorrent. War is the most stupid thing between divine human species because divine human species do not fight against each other. They can't because it's governed by love. So you'll, you'll find that out later. And I think Lieutenant Colonel Bossy and I, we can speak with authority because we saw war. And if you have seen war, the ugly face of war, you say there is no bravery except for this war. This is different. And this is the largest war machine ever assembled. So regular, like regular partner forces are the Australian Armed Forces. The Air Force is flying missions in US airspace, New Zealand. For instance, just to name a few, Switzerland was also in, is involved, is under our command. I say our, I come to that later. Um, Russian Federation, Russia, China, mm -hmm. India, big country. All of them except Israel. Oops. <laughs> and uh, and um, the, the declared enemy is the globalist deep state. Now with COVID, let's go back to the last immediate grandest suffering that we have all gone through together. Me too, by the way. We had this so-called deadly virus in each of our countries, and it was funny in a way. Now we can we can analyze it. Please step a bit back and analyze. Please compare. We all saw the same movie. People falling over in Wuhan. Then they told us it's deadly. Then they showed us Bergamo, this, this village down in Italy, that picture went around the world. It went around the world. Like the 9-11 pictures, the stupid fake 9-11 um, planes that didn't exist. Bergamo went around the world, sarcophags, military trucks, taking dead bodies out. It was a ferry accident in Genova with some migrants, capsized boat or whatever, and that, that's what they cut together. Filmmaking, right film. And we fell victim to it. And then the government used force. They used force. They made a COVID law, which is unconstitutional to all citizens, all democracies. And then they said, you stay at home if you're not vaxxed, unconstitutional. Pass 
remember that the QR codes mostly. And without that, you can't go to the restaurant, you can't go into a plane, ship, blah, blah, you cannot travel. Some of them in Australia had camps, I heard. They took them in some barbed wire camps or some quarantine housing. I mean, you know, yeah. remember the Nazis, the Hitlers, I mean, all these things. So we went into a panic mode. The population was stunned by it, like a stun gun. It was, we were stunned. We were partly afraid, partly curious. Oh, we stay at home, it's paid for, that's new life. Who made money? Amazon, right? They made 221% in 21. Jeff Bezos, boom. So we got coerced into it because the neighbors too, hey, it's okay, it doesn't hurt you, it's really cool. And, you know, and they told you, you must be in the collective. Now, collective is a Nazi terminology. Pandemic is also an invention by the WHO. And we didn't wake up. I didn't wake up. I must, I, I admit it, I didn't. I just, you know, I had a bit of pain. I, I fainted. They said it's normal. I said, I accepted that too in Switzerland. They said, I, I try a military, right? Swiss army. I trust my government for heaven's sake. My grand uncle was a president of Switzerland during the Second World War, up to the Second World War. So, you know, I, I trust this flag. And then it went all haywire. And I realized that I had everything else but medicine in my body because of this famous Janin Small Pfizer rep who had to testify, got grilled in the European Parliament, in the European Parliament, and said, we didn't test the endpoints before going to market. We couldn't. We had to go with the speed of science. What? And it was by coincidence that I saw this, by the way, on the internet, on alternative media, of course. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's it. My health minister, Berset, lied to me, to me and all other citizens and all other people in Switzerland, in Swiss territory. This thing is not safe, it's not tested, it's not effective. Here you got Pfizer lady under oath. Okay, what's the consequence if you observe a crime? What is the consequence if Harry shoots Peter down in an alley in Melbourne at three o'clock in the morning? You call the bloody police, don't you? Yeah. Or you help, you send an ambulance, you do something. Most people did nothing. Well, I don't pat on my shoulder. I said, fuck that. I'm going to get that guy. I went to the... Police station on the corner, the police station. I walk equal 3112 in the criminal code is abuse of office. Lying is abuse of office. And I just said, I don't, I cannot have, I don't accept to pay taxes for a minister that we employ that lies to us, responsible for health, for 9 million people and animals to horses and stuff who died and dogs and pets in my territory because I serve the constitution. I don't serve a minister. I don't serve a president. I don't serve a bank or a national bank. I don't serve the Swiss francs. No, I don't. I serve only one thing, the constitution, which covers the safety and security of the borders, the people, the territory, the army, the military, blah, 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 the resources. I went to the police and guess what happened? There was a lady like a Nazi there looking at me. And you know, I don't look like Mr. Meyer from Switzerland. You look at me, I, I don't look like, you know, especially now with these migrants going in and out. And she thought, oh God, there's another. And she said, what do you want? <laughs> I said, I need your help. You're the police, aren't you? Normally bandits don't come to the police. You, you have to run after them, I said to her. I and mean, I'm coming to you. Obviously, I need something from you. Okay, what do you want? Like, so she was really condescended, man. It's behind the glass, this COVID glass thing. I said, look, mask off. I said, uh, we're doing the, uh, a, a criminal complaint uh, against the neighbor. Uh, I said, no, 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 no. Against who, sir? I said, but tell that to your officer in the office, then if I may. No, you have to tell like this. You have to tell me now. I said, okay, against federal counsel, that is, you know, minister of state. Mm -hmm. Berset, health minister. Then she says, we don't do that. I said, well, I mean, <laughs> this is not negotiable, madam, I said. You don't negotiate <laughs> with me. You know, you, you just get, get me somebody now to do the reporting. Otherwise, you are in, uh, in violation of the constitution. And then she was very angry, but she steamed out to the endless corridors of this stupid police station and then came another stupid, come on, stupid, don't, another aggravated 
nervous officer who realized that he cannot get rid of me, can't. And he said, come inside, sit down, and there's an office chair table and five meters, another chair table with a glass thing, COVID, right? He said, go there. It's like humiliating. I go there. What do you want? I said, I told that to your colleague, didn't she brief you? You know, I went through these little emotions and then he said, get out again. I said, what are you doing? I have to talk to the district attorney first. Okay, I went outside, waited five minutes. I thought they're going to boot me out. Then he said, oh, please come in. Come in, sir. Almost brought me a coffee, didn't get me a coffee. I help you with the filling out. I said, wow. You can sit here next to me. Wow. Uh, we don't take Article 320 that you chose. We take 312 as well. Bang. Okay, I signed. I thought, okay, it's going to go all the way now. It went because if you file a criminal charge against a sitting minister, it goes straight to the federal prosecutor of the nation. And the guy said, roll back to me, you got the case number? I said, yeah, if you get the case number, that's a good first step. Hmm. And I called all the media. Nobody responded. I said, wait a minute, I'm announcing, I put that file the criminal against the sitting health. No media called back. So I bombarded everybody, alternatives, and then two media, which are good people, called them quasi-mainstream Switzerland, reported it. One article, they said, write it yourself with your names. Okay. <laughs> and it became a little movement, but not an association. I'm not representing an association. I don't represent a country except the United States military at the moment. I don't collect money or donations. I don't sell, by the way, bitcoins and stuff like that. There's some fake Najati accounts are doing that. They're criminals. We'll get them late. Now, this was it. And as I went forward, I started to lose, lose. Now I can talk differently. I was able to depose all fake friends since I had, since, since four decades. Because they all turned away. They called me crazy. They said, you shouldn't do this. This is a minister. Uh, I said, you guys are crazy. If somebody hurts your daughter, what's her name? Natalie or Sibyl or I don't know. And then you, you watch the perpetrator hurting your kid and that's okay. Yeah, but I was good the injection. I don't you, you, and I said, look, here are the facts. So the more you brought them the facts, they went into the rabbit freeze. Like in, I don't hunt, but if you go with a car, in England or in Australia at night, the kangaroos or they, they freeze in this, you know, they like mm -hmm. headlights. And they they lost it all. They lost the plot because that's what they've done. Obama said it, the traitor. You bombard the population with fake news, hot, hot shower, cold shower, hot shower, all the time. Contradicting, you make those official, you know, psyops. Then people have to sometimes say, you know what? Oh, fuck it. I mean, I don't care. I, I, I'm going to have my beer now and my pizza. I have had a hard time, uh, days of work. And uh, that's it, right? They give up. The cognitive dissonance, you know, is, is completely screwed up. And that's where most of the population went into a sort of a storm of emotions. They didn't know anymore where it's up or down. Lost in translation, literally. But in the military, you have to keep the focus. So I didn't, I didn't um, let myself being distracted. I said I'd rather be alone than surrounded by traitors, because if you're at war, I don't go into the trenches and then they say, hey, "Go run ahead," and then you go ahead, and then yeah, we follow you. <laughs> then they run the other way. No, you must be totally alert what you do. No fear, because fear they use to get you to a needle that you agreed to sign for your children, that they put it into their bodies, they used fear. The mafia, the bad and sick people use fear. You don't do that, we're gonna kill you. We're gonna kill your mother, we're gonna kill. Fear is a, a tool was, I said that on purpose, of Satan. Fear, war mongering, fear. With fear, you get most people, most people. Um, you get them into line what you want to do criminally. Hmm. But if you have no fear, you know, Satan has one big problem, light. If you represent the light, the truth, and you confront Satan or the, the old crooked CIA and said, 
I'm not afraid of you. Kill me. Come on. You did this. You bastards. Most cases, they run away from you. Most cases. And I kept my course. I'm also flying aircraft. Like, you know, you, you need to maintain heading, we call it. If you go like this, you know, it's going to end up in a goose chase and then you crash. So, and in the storm, we say, oh, if you've, out oh, of four engines, two engines are blown up, we still fly the plane. We don't get distracted by the red lights. First, fly the plane, fly it. And then later, higher up, let's see what the damage is. So, we have to understand people. Everybody listen carefully. It's over. I can say that not with authority because I don't have military secrets, but you can read between the lines. Mm -hmm. And the war declaration is visible for everybody to read. And please do check and verify. I think Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel, excuse me, you will put up the links maybe of Derek Johnson or something yeah. where you can go, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> directly. Now, a declaration of war, that is legislation, is a military order. And then we have executive order, one out of 11, but the most focused one for you, everybody to read and understand, is executive order 13818. That is a national emergency. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, people don't understand the words anymore. National emergency. I paraphrase, it says, it was, it was formulated on the 20th of December, 2017. The Q guys, 17, by President Trump. At the beginning of Operation Storm, this was the actual definition, target definition of Operation Storm. I call it Community Storm, and people have adopted it. I don't know why. Because it says the, the prevalence of um, serious, serious crimes against humanity and serious corruption that have their source in whole or in substantial parts outside of the United States continue, the word continue, to pose a unusual, the word unusual, unusual, extraordinary threat to the national security of the United States. You got to analyze these words, people. Please. Please. These are probably the most extreme words before you use the words fucking and crazy and, you know, we're going to beat the shit out of you. I mean, this is probably the most... That's the limitation before using big names and words, writing a declaration of war. Hmm. And... This is a military order because it says it's a, it continues to pose a, a, a unusual, extraordinary threat to the national security of the United States. Can you imagine? That means an extraordinary threat to the people, the country, the borders, anything, the bases, the military organization, which is huge. And it also says the same thing for foreign policy of the United States and economy. Wow. It's in front of you. So this has been continued and it pops up on the 18th of December 23 when we could see it in the whitehouse.gov. Wow. Let's not go about Biden. Biden is an actor. We don't have to waste time on this guy anymore. It's, it's you know, Arthur Roberts. So the White House website showed that on purpose to you. Not to sell you Trump. It's not about selling Trump. It's not. It is, there is a process involving the wartime president to show what he's doing, that you can see there's somebody in charge, and he's a good guy, by the way. That's not, nothing to do about Republican or Democrats anymore. No, 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 it's not. This has happened already officially now, 2019, 20th of December. Always remember that date. On the 27th of March, entre temps, President Trump has federalized the National Guard. The United States has 50 states. Each state had its territorial army for the states, and they were state bound, except Texas. Texas has a, they have a special army because they're just big and a very rich place, contributing a lot of taxes in the former Washington Corporation. 
He has federalized them because that's the way he could declare war on one hand. But if you declare war, a worldwide war, you need people, I mean, soldiers. And to mobilize them quickly, the National Guard is always ready, right? So he had he, clever. They federalized it. And that's how we could mobilize one million, one million brave men and women into active, active war duty on the 27th of March, 2020. Executive Order 13912, I think. So, yeah. And this is a officialization of, of a long clandestine war. Call it Q. Q exists. I'll come to that later. And at the same date of the declaration of war, President Trump has formed and financed, funded the United States Space Force, USSF, the sixth independence branch, new, I mean, new and old, of the United States military next to the Air Force. They are like a bit linked. It's clever for air support and stuff. It's all about the same, but they're independent. And the United States Space Force goes back a long time. But it's significant because the US Space Force has been formed in 2019 on the 20th of December. You see it here in Roman 2019. And the star here is Polaris, never to lose the guidance for humanity and for the right cause. This is more than just a national defense or satellite operator. In fact, since the 15th of August 22, okay, the Space Force, which I am allied with and I'm a component in the regular force, the Space Force is now, since October officially, sorry, August 15th, 22, the control and communications hub center of this largest ever assembled war machine. So all armies around the world that serve this purpose under the command of our United States military are have centralized their communications. That involves, you know, land to ship, ship to air, air to space and backwards, what have you, all combinations are centralized with the Space Force. Wow. All satellites, we control them all. All. Now, all. And for a good cause, not to spy on you, because the deep state has been using intelligence, abusing it again to, to spy on you, on your phone calls, on your emails, to manipulate you, to manipulate elections in Australia and Switzerland, everywhere you go. It's over. And the Space Force also controls all data signals, for that matter. That means we flip a switch, we can switch off all ATMs globally in one second. We can or all red lights in all traffic lights, we can go them on green and create a total disaster, a traffic jam. We can, believe me, we can, <laughs> because we can. It's now a tool of war and it's a defense war. Remember the words, this is a global defense war for humanity, for the human species, for us. Against the globalist deep state, and that is a big, big word, Kazaria Mafia, Kazaria, go and Google it, you end up with a historic map. It's Ukraine. Today's Ukraine. They're Nazis. And the Nazis tried to exterminate us with COVID. The reason why we are speaking here now online is because of the US military. And now here comes the Australian component, guys. Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. You have to understand that Mrs. Clinton tried, as you know, to steal the election in 2016. As you know, she failed. You know that from the public media. It's no secret anymore. And even President Trump made reference that, oh, through WikiLeaks, we got some great uh, information. Oh, Mrs. Clinton. Yeah. And then um, she was gone, right? Clinton vanished. First to Guantanamo Bay. I have a nice film where we fly into Guantanamo Bay. On a Gulf Stream, hey, that's rare video. You should watch it. Just watch the approach. It's beautiful. Runway 10 of hell, we call it. I call it the runway of hell. Because all these guys are ending up there or, and have ended up there. Clinton tried to steal the election. There was the US military intelligence. Don't forget, that was still Obama. Huh? 
You understand? Trade Roba and Biden and Clinton, the worst. They were planning a coup on us already 2017, it looks like. They wanted to roll out the COVID pandemic, pandemic, I have to say, and kill us. I say as blunt as it. They wanted to murder us because the original flasks, the original bioweapon, it's a military-grade bioweapon, by the way, where we are transfected with a military-grade bioweapon. Make no mistake. Don't call it a secondary effect. Anybody calls it that is stupid. A weapon is designed to kill. It is a primary effect. If a gun doesn't shoot the enemy, this is a fake news. I throw it away. I get another one. They designed an intelligent, military-grade bioweapon to kill us. I say it as blunt as it is. You have to face reality. I cannot talk nice about bad things here. I can't. We are well at the end of the game. I can talk about it freely. And don't panic, because I come to that later. Don't panic now. But the US military, and then first mandate Trump, and the Space Force, they have diffused those bottles, because they were already stocked. They were already produced by DARPA, which is a Bezos family organization, Jeff Bezos. So there was Julian Assange, which enabled helped and I was told was crucial to come make a counter coup in the internet against the Clinton Foundation, the Clintons and the Obamas and these people and let them walk in, in stratagem. Stratagem is a ruse like in fishing, you put in this cage and then the fish goes in, oh, it feels quite good and then the fisherman comes, bam! Clinton got caught. Mrs. Clinton, the Clintons got caught. Bad and sick people, satanic people. I don't want to talk about it, it's too bad. You'll find out later. And so Hero Assange is not in prison. I make a cool statement. He never was in prison. This was a show to dupe the deep state. Like you have the show at the White House now. We can talk about it. It's all fake to trap the deep state, to trap other corrupt leaders in 2021 and 2021, 20, 22, right? All my Swiss government walked into it, right flat into the stratagem in our ruse because I could prove that the Swiss government is corrupt. The police report went nowhere. It went to federal you know, uh, court and they rejected it and said, oh, COVID is not poisonous, the injection. And uh, they didn't use force. Well, coercion, Google it is use of force, it's illegal, it's a crime. Coercion, manipulation is illegal. That's it. So, Julian Assange is a hero, a hero. He's fine, his family is fine, he's a wonderful wife, yes. This is true, I've got kids, this is true. But he never was in a prison. He was, of course, in the high security, single isolation, precisely. That is not some other inmate who says, there's no Assange here, right? So, because you put him in the media, in a single cell, in a high... Of course, nobody sees him, right? Don't worry. He's fine. He's a hero. He'll be soon decorated, I can tell you that. Because he saved the US Constitution. And the president-elect, that's important, didn't save... This was not about... you know. Yes, of course, Trump was winning. And Mrs. Clinton was adding fake ballot votes. But then... The intelligence with 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 through the Sanch and WikiLeaks could counter that, and they could cut off the stream of illegal votes in that election process. And you see the meter of the election: Clinton, Clinton advancing, Clinton, Clinton, Clinton. Like in a horse race, in a good horse race, which I don't like to to bet, but to watch is crazy sometimes. The so-called dark horse comes from the back end corner in the last round. And two heads go straight through the finishing line and wins the race. It's about the same thing. The US military intelligence and Assange were able to cut off the feeding of fake um, votes of Clintons. They did not, I may make a clear statement, they did not add votes to make Trump the president. It will be proven to you. They did not do that. Of course not. That would be also fraud. They didn't do that. Everything is constitutional, protecting the Constitution. So, Jun Assange, you're a hero. You protected the US Constitution and you saved our lives worldwide because the Clintons, Obamas, and the Satanists had the plan 
and they would have succeeded. Trust me. They had a plan if there wouldn't have been a, the military intelligence, if there wouldn't have been JFK and Q and the military intelligence. Yes, they would have killed us. We would be dead by now, gone in a different dimension. I make this point very clear. So Assange was key. WikiLeaks were key. And this war is coming to an end because I'm one eye, I'm smiling, one eye, I'm still crying for all the people and children, countless. We lost. I make a clear statement. Our divine humanity has lost one billion, one billion divine fellow human species. And um, many injured. Um, so, all I can say is, if you see another human being hurting another human being, you do everything you can to stop it. And if, if it's children, even more. I'll walk into an open knife to protect the child. I don't care. That's the way it has to be. And animals, they get the same protection because a lot of people are satanic. They are abusing animals. Let's not go there now. So I'm sorry I lost it a bit here, but it's unfathomable. And I say this, I repeat myself one more time. I speak to the bad and sick people who did this to us, for those who are still around, and we come to the, the, the interesting part for everybody in Australia now. But I say this, anybody who has been involved with this beyond biblical direct assault on our divine human species and animals and divine, on our divine earth, what you have done is beyond biblical and rest assured our response to that is a multiple, multiple beyond biblical. As President Trump said, in America, we don't worship government. We worship God. And I add to that, we all worship God. But we show you now where he resides. And with that, I can confirm to you here, have no more fear. Have no more fear. I'm not selling you President Trump. He's a great guy. He's a fantastic president, but I'm not selling you that. I'm declaring to you, without having a military secret, I don't get into trouble, I can tell you, have no more fear. Fear has been obliterated. This war is basically coming to an end now. On May Day 1st, May Day, May Day, remember? We sail the boat in the sea of south of France for you. And we've put for you all, especially the Americans, the 7077 flag, the Betsy flag on our stern. And we, we sailed into a storm. I announced it on the 30th of April. I said, we're going into a storm now. And behind me, you see, that's how it surfaced. This was a clandestine war, mostly underground, fighting other species, non-terrestrial, evil beings, humanoids, cabal, humans, illegal military bases, illegal biolabs, underground. We blew up 10,000 underground facilities around the world and tunnels. They were taking children, our children. We lost 8 million children a year without any trace. Most of them they ended up underground. It's, I don't want to talk about it. It's over. Now what you have to do is get in line. And let's talk about the stuff in Gitmo. It's not just one ju justice um, advocate general that is in charge. The military tribunals are under our command, but they're worldwide because we just we don't fly everybody to Gitmo. It's first of all too expensive to fly those fuckers into. No, no. They are in every territory, those tribunals, and they are coordinated, of course, through the Space Force. And then the GAG is the military overhead, the, the tribunal centralized, but then every army, the Australian military has the tribunals and they are, you know, everywhere at the same time, not just Diego Garcia, not just Guantanamo Bay. You couldn't deal with all those. We are, they're busy and uh, now they're now they resting. Look behind me. This is not an exercise. 500,000 um, criminals around the world. This is, I call it layer two. 
These are the rogue Freemasons. All the Freemasons here criticizing the colonel. I saw that in the post. A lot of Freemasons are attacking my comrade, Lieutenant Colonel. You know what, you're Freemasons? You're getting a bullet now because you're satanic. You've been abusing children like the Jews in the synagogue, in the basements. You're finished. We know what you have done. All your communications and your phones, we have them all. You know what? We control all the signals on this earth now. And we've seen a long time. So all your emails, four or five years ago, your proton mails, you thought they're secret. They're not. We know what you have done. Everything what you have done. And if you're lucky, you get away with lifelong prison. Most of you get the bullet. Your brains will be splashed in the, the, the wall behind you. We exterminate you. And that includes the Nazis. Nazi has nothing to do with Germany, people. It has to do with the Swiss territory back home. To do with also the Jews. National Zionisten, Zionists. The British royal family that has oppressed Australia and New Zealand is gone. I declare them executed, all of them. Harry, all these actresses, what I forgot the stupid name that, you know, loose cannon lady. The dragon he married and uh, Prince William. Yeah, he looks nice, smiling, right? No, no, no. Satanists. I don't go any further than that. Satin, satanic rituals. Kate Middleton, yeah. Old prostitute going from one yacht to the other in Monte Carlo, screwing with the yacht owners. Kate Middleton, yeah, right? No, no, no. Bad and sick people. All of them have been executed. The queen has been hanged in Guantanamo Bay. Hanged. And the body brought back and then the big show that she passed away and all that. King Charles, boom, gone. William, gone. All of them. Philip, all of them. What is that? The pedo, pedo criminal gone. What is his name? Uh, please help me. Um, you know that, the, um, Prince Andrew. Epstein. All gone. All gone. Don't worry. Gone. The only, the Queen of Hearts. Remember her? We were all crying. I was crying. 97, in August. I was in London then when I heard that Prince Diana had a car crash in Paris. I really thought she's dead. I declare she's alive. Queen of Hearts. <laughs> she's fine. She's cool. And she's coming back with a, with a vengeance. Thanks to her, the military intelligence, also the Royal Marines, got enough evidence to make sure we can un unearth this satanic group. The British Windsors, the royals that you think are so blue blood are not. They were Nazis, National Zionist Jews from Germany. Battenbergs, Battenberg, Jews. Hitler was a Jew. He exterminated, massacred 3.5 million opposition, Germans, Muslims too, but Germans mostly, Christians, non-Jews in the KZ. The mountains of bodies that you saw, that they showed you cleverly after the Second World War, those were allied soldiers bodies, which they collected them and put them in there to show you. And they made the Holocaust establishing the Jewishness because they said Hitler made the blood test. Ah, they found out that I had a grandmother. I had a Jewish genome. That's why they killed my mother. Fake news doesn't exist. The Jewish religion doesn't exist. It's fake. It is a religion always fake, but they pushed themselves into a special position with the Talmud. And that they said, we are a chosen people. I guarantee, I'm not speaking for God. I, I just fight his fight, maybe. Do you really believe God who exists, who created our universe, which is limitless, endless, created you wonderful people, but we have emotions we can split. Look at our body, we are, this is engineering. This is a wonder. Well, it's God made, it is. Animals too, plants too. Do you really believe that he then said, oh, by the way, created all this. And, and now I chose somebody like the Redskins here. They're the rulers over the others. They're better. Ah, he gave us paradise, right? Abundance. He promised that. He did that. And um, eternal life. Well, all of that we got... The pharaohs came to Switzerland and the sisters of ISIS, this was the Nazi foundation, Switzerland, 
Freemasonry, Switzerland, UN, Switzerland, WHO, Switzerland. Now you get it, huh? Swiss government corrupt my government. I reported all of them, not just this one, all previous governments, all banks, national bank. I reported everything to the Secretary of Defense of the United States at war. And since then, I'm, I'm formally, officially, and you know, before I was also, but now I can say it um, with the United States military, U.S. Space Force. I choose my camp. <laughs> uh, it's the end of it, ladies and gentlemen. Not in this show, just quite now. I had a monologue. I want to make the point very clear. I'm not a blogger or a association. I am a military Swiss resistance, like in Normandy, when the GIs, not was the Marines, they came in Normandy. They had villagers coming from the good French people. Can we help you? Can we shoot the Nazis? Yeah, here's a gun. Go, come. You're with us. You're attached to the unit. And they became La Résistance. And people said, oh, Pascal, you're a traitor. You are, you're selling our flag. I said, no, I made a request to President Trump to actually cancel the Swiss flag. I cannot have a satanic ritual flag, Swiss flag, which was sold to us as a chocolate flag and peace flag and save the children flag. It represents Rothschilds, the Nazis, Rothschilds. And the Templars, all the same shit, I'm sorry. Vatican too. Vatican was a Jewish Nazi organization. They were doing bad stuff in the basements and a lot more. We had to fly 650 Globemasters. Can you imagine? Globemasters are these big transport planes. It's four engines, Boeing. They can carry tons of loads. You can imagine they're huge birds. 650 flights from Rome to Fort Knox. 650 full of physical just the gold to bring it to the United States. And Pope Francis is shot, brains are out. Uh, he, his shoes, that, that much I, did, I reveal, his shoes were made out of, of baby skin, the red shoes. McDonald's, don't go there, you'll find out why. Just don't. Don't send your kids to McDonald's. Don't eat the burgers. Cancel McDonald's. Just don't. They're a Jewish organization. One rabbi said, yeah, we feed them. Yeah. So if you meet a Jew, change the pavement. I am anti-Semitic. Yes, I am. They even killed Jesus Christ, right? Or betrayed him. Well, it's over for them. And if somebody says we are special, no, you're not. And I say to these people, yes, God, has God, God exists. Believe me, exists. He's in every one of you now. He's in every one of you. Always been the chromosome. That's why they try to change the genetic code with the Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson Johnson, AstraZeneca injections. They wanted to change the God's element, our divine human species, into a slave, robotic humanoid. Ah, uh -uh. we caught them. Those who had that, that we lost, they didn't die. It sounds weird for you, I know, but they're right with us. Their light and love is joined us in Operation Storm, believe you me. And there's no regrets. They are with us. And you will find you will find out later how we will connect back to them. Um, you'd never die. I promise you that you will never die. God exists. You can speak to him. In fact, every time the real God's name is your breath. Yahweh. God gave himself that name because he wanted to understand you to understand that he's in you. When you breathe every time, you spell his name, not Allah or something. No, 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 no. It's his name. Now you got a little, little upgrade in knowledge. He exists and he's there right next to you and your children, your protected kids are now protected worldwide under the US law of war of Ma manual 2015. Anybody who touches kids, report them to the military, later the police, get a bullet in the head. That's the new procedure. Bullet in the head, no courts, no mercy, no time for this. Uh, and, and the good thing is humans amongst humans are much less wicked than we were infiltrated with non-humans around us. And that's why we got into this disaster. And it comes to an end. It is the end. Now you have to get in line Enjoy life. God wants you now to enjoy life. I know it's difficult. You have bills to pay. I know um, the prices of meat went left through. The, it's all been a bit done artificially to shock you, to wake you up. Like, what are they doing? 
uh, Arden, this horse mouth from New Zealand, right? The crack smoking, I think she's a transvestite anyway. Um, boom, she's gone. I declare Klaus Schwab is gone. Boom. The Swiss military is under our control, of course, command and control. And they were very helpful with the special forces of my colleagues to get him out of his bunker, I mean, his villa in Geneva. The funny thing is, this guy has put up his bunker on Rue de la Capite, 91. I grew up on Rue de la Capite, 19. Isn't that funny? And we brought him down. When I was a kid, I never thought that he would, first of all, settle there. I never thought that this man could become such a monster. But he's gone. And the dragon head has been cut off. If you see the, the arm of the city of Moscow, the, the coat of arms is a white horse with a knight stabbing a dragon. We have just done that all together with humanity, the, the, all of us. We have, we have killed Satan. He's gone. Switzerland is obliterated. You don't see it. The Swiss flag will go, will go. Uh, who wants to put up the swastika flag in the living room? Uh -uh, I don't. I don't think anybody of you wants to do the same. It's over. Australians, you went through a lot of hardship and pain and loss. I can only share tears with you. You are wonderful people. Your land is so beautiful. The best beef. Eat beef. Do not eat this artificial crap. You're going to erase these people. Some of them get shot who are promoting this artificial meat from Israel and all that stuff that is full of ugly stuff to kill us. There's no need. We have plenty of oil. You can drive your cars, your wonderful engines. <laughs> Don't buy an electric car because look at Tesla stock. It's going downhill very fast because Elon Musk also is executed. Jeff Bezos is executed. All those globalists are gone. You saw masks. You saw puppets for you in the Muppet show to keep the movie going for the criminals. And now we layer two. That's what you see here is happening everywhere in the world. Now at night at three in the morning or in, in a school, they land. It's over. And the commander knows that special forces. You have more experience than I do, sir. When you go in, you go in and it goes quick, right? And I would like to end this because I've been speaking so long. I feel a bit shame, ashamed to take your time. But um, everything that I told you is true. I don't have to swear. I don't swear anymore. This is also a stupid satanic thing. But I promise you. A promise is a promise. And listen to my old friend, John F. Kennedy is alive. The president Kennedy is alive. He said, I, pro pro I paraphrase and remember his words. He said, let every nation know, be that our friend or foe, that we will do anything, spend any hardship, take any burden to support a friend, to oppose any foe, to have liberty. His Q is alive. You will meet him soon. We published his picture. He's pretty chilling. He's chilling now. He's cool. He's cool. And this was a 70-year war, basically. And it's come to an end. And you are lucky that you witnessed the bad and ugly, but you will now go into a different lifestyle in abundance. You don't pay taxes. I can promise you also, from now on, you will not pay any income tax anymore. That was also fraud. And you're getting pretty much a lot of money back. The banks will go, all these stupid banks, right? These lousy bank counters and these greedy mortgages. Whoever has a mortgage, it will be canceled. Boom. Credit card debt, canceled. So spend, spend, spend now. Very soon it will be canceled. Canceled. And you get a lot of money back, every human being. There will no will be no more poverty on our divine earth. And you will not die. But let the military explain that. That goes a bit too quick here. I have to restrain myself. And I always say, it's God is with you, is within us. I really tell you that it's really true. And JFK has a special role to play, always had. And I can't wait to meet him again because we met before, but uh, it's a bit complicated. So I'm sorry, but um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. I have nothing to add to that because Wait you know, till I come back. There you go. We're back. Thank I, you. I, that can't, was... I can't invent stuff that doesn't happen. But this, what you see here, 
This is happening officially since May 1st, since a few days. What is it now? I can't remember the time even. And you see, it's funny. Uh, my watch is 1947 when the Air Force got formed. I've been there before. Still going, accurate. And this watch is 100 years and it's still going, accurate. 100 years old. The boat I sailed is 1926 and the house at home is 1926. And it's the village where JFK and Jackie Kennedy taught their kids to ski in Switzerland. Isn't this crazy? But it's true. So there's no coincidence in life. Anything that you wish will be fulfilled, people. And you don't have to play the lottery anymore for that. You are wealthy in spirit, in heart. Love and light reigns our new world. Yeah. Top. Sorry. Thank no, you. Thank you. Thank you, Pascal. Extraordinary. I mean, the only, the only description that's possible is mind. We're very familiar with that. We've been talking about this for a long time. But as you can imagine, we've been <clears throat> portrayed as uh, as tinfoil hat wearing loons. And that's fine by us because we knew, <laughs> we knew what was coming and that's OK. We've been preparing preparing the country for that. So it's lovely hearing that confirmation in such a, a concise uh, and chronologically sound um, description, very important for the people to listen to that, hear that from another source and understand yeah. that we've been we've been across this, many of us have been across this for a long time. Now, the other question I, I, I mentioned uh, before, the question they all know is who's gone? When, when do they go? And you've covered that nicely. Thank They're you. They're gone. Okay. All these people that you hate, that you feared, you feared. Me too, I must admit. When they made this unconstitutional planning in Davos, I said, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Who stops them? They're gone. My Swiss ministers are all gone. All of them. Bang, 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 bang. The bankers now are picked up. They are now sweating. They're running. now. The bankers and the lawyers and the judges and the Peter criminals. Bang. And the Freemasons. So many Freemasons. I come again. They criticized my friend, the colonel, lieutenant colonel. How dare you? Freemasons, you Nazis, you National Zionists, are from the 18th degree. You started worshipping Israel, didn't you? And the Talmud. That's your little secret, you Freemason fucks. You're finished. We're going to not only <laughs> torture you, but we're going to kill each of you. I hope that was loud and clear. And don't insult the military people. Never insult military people. And you did so with Lieutenant Colonel. And you know what? All your posts and your secret WhatsApp between each other, we have them all in space for us. You're finished. Bang. Yeah, that's my message to them. Sorry. I'm angry now. And all the lawyers <laughs> who charge $500 to write to a judge? Fuck you too. The entire judiciary will go. The judiciary will go. The state it will be eliminated completely in one go, one switch. Bang. Finish. You lawyers, you fucked it all up. You're part of the system with the judges and you know it. You're all in the Freemasonry. We know all of you. There's some good ones out there. Don't get me wrong. And to them... I excuse myself here for that statement. But the majority of the lawyers are part of the satanic system to work against the client's interest and to dry to, to blot them, uh, to bleed them out financially. Isn't it? Lawyer is expensive, right? And you lose your house sometimes. To, find, to defend your rights? Forget it. Military rule will come, military justice, to protect you and protect our rights. You cannot be any better than that. Because a military officer, a judge, is not paid to do the job. It's an officer of the military doing the job. Big difference. No Porsche, no golf club membership, no champagne for lunch or cocaine over the dinner. No, no, no. These are judges from the military. They are in uniform. <laughs> ah, they are good. They're precise. Yeah. Sorry. Very pleasing. Yeah. Very, yeah. No, no, no. Very, very pleasing to hear. Health, as we call it. <laughs> philosophy again i think we've got the highest percentage of uh, masonic filth in this country per capita on the planet no and, switzerland uh, no 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 switzerland yeah. israel and no switzerland forty thousand square kilometers we have <laughs> we have more bad and sick satanic nazi jews and people here fascists than we have population underground bases all gone bam the cern We'll blow up, bomb up all of this. Let me explain people about the solar eclipse, just so that you understand that, if I may add two minutes. 
you saw the solar eclipse hyped up in the media by us. Yeah. And they said, don't look into the sun. Don't look at it. Well, of course, that was provoking that you do look at it, especially the Americans. And um, But people, I just, we go facts, right? The fake, well, sun and moon are were on the 8th of April in Pisces, let's say on the right side here, up in the sky. Pisces, star sign. 8th of April, go and look. You can free of charge online, check that out. But our solar eclipse, that made a shadow all the way from New Mexico or Dallas all the way up to North America, cast a shadow. There was an eclipse of something mega huge. We did that for you. There was a twofold message in this. Because again, sun and, sun and moon were in parallel moving on the 8th of April in Pisces. How then can you have a so-called solar eclipse? We did it for you. At the same time, we put in some mistakes. On, on purpose, we showed you a, a scrambled picture. <laughs> you looked at it like a TV screen that goes berserk. And it had the NASA logo on it because NASA in Hebrew means to deceive. To publicly show you that we have not only killed all the NASA people, they're dead, all of them. The whole NASA is gone. But to show you what they've been doing all with humanity, they deceived us. Moon landing never happened, right? Kennedy found out that the planning was a money-making satanic machine. And then the CERN. At the same time, because we have infiltrated the CERN since years, from the CEO level down to the professors, found out what they're doing. They did portals. They tried to bring Satan physically back to, to, to Earth. The Jews did. And they, they failed. Every time they tried, some bloody transistor blew up and another part of the collider blew up and and uh, on the 8th of April, we, 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 have, we have control. We fired it up one more time. One more time. We created a wormhole. Wormhole. And we have removed the Nazi, the National Zionist Jewish timeline, the Nazi timeline that goes back all the way. We've removed that line and we've put God's timeline on it. You didn't notice it, of course. It's not like spraying your car from green to blue, you don't you don't immediately see it. You feel it. The weather has changed. The birds are back. God's timeline is on our divine earth now. We are immersed. We have taken the earth out of the Nazi timeline, which was war, division, hatred, um, trompery, deceiving, killing, Satan, gone. We are in God's frequencies, and now your frequency levels will go up, and your third eye will be activated, and you will find out that all the knowledge, all the knowledge, libraries full of knowledge, is in your chromosomes, and you can activate it in the future yourself. No one is stupid. To, to call a kid stupid in school is an insult to humanity. The IQ tests are fake news. Then that's not how you measure somebody is clever or not. Everybody is smart. You have to give them the tools. And there you get that God is in you. So that's all to say that the solar eclipse was fake. The message was to you people, we protect you. We have the power to do this for you, this show. Wow. <laughs> Not bad, huh? And to the bad guys, if we have the power to do this, to fake a opt, we speak, we have big ships up there, right? We have them. M make a fake sun and a fake ship. And you all think it's a solar eclipse? Yes, we created that for you. For the bad guys to show them, hey, if we can do this, guess what's going to happen to you very soon now? They're coming for you. Yeah. So people, no more fear. Put the smile on. Take the tears out. There's enough crying, enough pain. Something will come that is the most beautiful, unbelievable epoch of humanity. And you are witnessing that. And you are with God. And God is with you. So now I'm finished. Sorry. Can't hear you. I lost you again, sir. <laughs> Rick, you're muted. Yes, retribution. <laughs> that might help. What, what can the people retribution for the next six to twelve months? Because there is a there's a an element of justice where the people must see justice being done. So I presume that that will be that expectation will be met? I don't know. 
It's a major secret. I don't need to know these secrets. This is detailed planning. I can read between the lines and tell you my opinion now. That's now my, all of this was truth. But now I give you yeah. a little bit of opinion, not even speculation. Yes, you're right, sir. People need to see it. And I promise you this. I prom That I can promise. This close. You will be shown. And it won't be nice. Of course, it's nice to see the brains flying out of the skull. Yeah, that's cool. Really, it is. Bravo. But they will, we will also show you why. What they have done. And that's the ugly part. And yep. not everybody can believe it, but then they will see it. I give a little, little one, just quick one. Queen Elizabeth was regularly doing hunting shoots with the Dutch royal family, shooting at night at naked kids with live ammunition. Queen Elizabeth. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I don't go any further. So you will show, you will be shown those facts precisely to show you the Nazi Jews, what they have done ten thousands of years to our humanity. And now they're chosen. God chose them to get rid of them. Yeah, they're chosen. I declare them they're chosen. So you will see justice happening. Every major head, there's too many, there's millions we execute, by the way, but millions, eight million people, minimum, bang. But the famous one, Arden, this horse mouth, uh, all these crooks, all of them, um, I talk about the New Zealand, Australia component, Australia, New Zealand, and don't hate each other. Come on, you're both great sailors. Uh, the America's Cup is coming, so get the cup. Uh, the... <laughs> You will see the Swiss people, you will see Berset's brain, bang, you see the Amhead, bang, Cassis, all these people being executed. All of them, Schwab, nice one. You make us open a special bottle of champagne. Von der Leyen, the Nazi. Shunak, Boris Johnson, they were all recorded. Some of them were executed 2018 already. Hmm. You were living with masks. Who had well, to play this stupid role? Zelensky. Today's Zelensky, his eyes are too nice. Look at his eyes. You see somebody, his eyes are too nice. He's a good actor. Oh, he's playing with cocaine. More people dying. Oh, give me some alcohol. <laughs> Zelensky. An actor playing an actor. How about that? One was satanic. One was the current one is actually a cool dude. And um, there's no war in Ukraine anymore. Look at the radar pictures. There's um, charter holiday airlines flying over Crimea. Airbus. <laughs> so. It's over. And yes, to go back to your question, sir, I promise that. That's why the lockdown, the lockdown is not against the people. It's something for you to relax. You need the time to be put in your protected own home. You can really, you don't go to work. No, you, it's all paid for. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. And then you have a special program. I don't know if it's an eight or 10 hour film in the loop for 10 days running in all languages of your countries where you are. And that will be showing you the executions with the name shield, everyone, tuck, 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 tuck. They're gone, all of them. But they're not gone. Are those Freemasons now running from us, from helicopters. They're running from us. They're not important anymore. I mean, for you, they don't change your life anymore. The judges, the lawyers, all these people, gone. Bang, bang, bang. And doctors, all doctors will be executed. Any doctor who injected once a kid or a human being with this bioweapon needs to die. They don't have any right to exist anymore. And we don't need doctors anymore, by the way. It's all wrong medicine. You'll be informed why you will not die. Again, I leave that for the military to explain. You'll be healthy, happy, and productive, meaning now you can afford children. Some of them would love to have children, but they couldn't because it's just financially not responsible to raise kids if you can't afford them. I understand that it's crazy. All that is over. If you love children to have them, some people love to grow them up and that's a burden. I mean, but that's a sacrifice. Me and Isabel, we don't have to, no time. We said, no, we are egoists. And that's also fine. It's your choice. But those who want to have kids, kids and grow them and educate them in good schools now, real science, you can because you will have no financial constraints anymore. I promise you that. That's my promise to you. Retribution. If I said in my speeches, we will, our retribution, the response to your crimes is a multiple beyond biblical. You will see why I'm saying this now. Yeah.
Now, in the transition from where we are to where we need to be, there's obviously going to be a period now. Is the financial crisis, is that crash no, coming in order no. to, to wake the last ones? Sir, no, no, this is like in the, remember Special Ops when you said the commander said go and you went. Everything flipped, which means the whole logistics flipped in your case for the operation was go on. And that's the same thing. This operation is planned for 70 years with first thing in mind, the well-being, safety of humanity. First yep. thing, no harm. Second, with well-being comes, of course, financial survival. How? All that is sorted. The banks will take them down. Look at the share prices are going slowly down. Um, controlled demolition like the 9-11 towers. Controlled demolition. Boom. The bankers will be executed who were in illegal trades. Boom. We don't need them anymore. Your money is already on the quantum financial system that is a executive order by President Trump a long time ago. That's not fantasy. SWIFT is obliterated. We don't use SWIFT anymore, even today. Uh, your money is already booked and safe. And no one will take it away from you, of course. The banks, you will have fun seeing them going down. You will have, you enjoy it. And central banks will be removed on the same day. Bang, switched off, like pulling the plug. We don't need them. The internet is already ready. It is operatively the same, but you're not. Anyway, it's, it's, everything would be, it's been put in place for you on a silver platter by God, seriously. And it's you flip the switch. It's plug and play. Yeah, to make it easy to understand. Plug and play. You buy okay. a new mouse, plug it in. That's why we need to lock, not lock you in, to protect you in your own home that you can finally, sir, how was it after a maneuver, right? When you when you stop, you had the shock still of some horrible scenes that you survived. It takes time to arrive at home again and to, to accept no fear, that there's no fear. It's also a, a, a battle. All, after all those decades of fear, you, you're being told that you can relax. People won't yeah. believe it otherwise. No, we need to. And I told that to someone who called me from the States. And I said, in Europe, we need that because people need, they trust the military. It's the only thing that people trust is the military. The last remaining bit, everything else, they, they lost the trust. Medicine, politics. But the military, they had hopes and they, that's good. I think it's a display of confidence and love to have the military taking care of our people. That's the way it should be. And it's a great picture, seeing soldiers taking care of elderly people, young kids, playing with pets in the courtyard. Hey, there are no tanks now. And we celebrate. Don't forget, tomorrow is the 9th of May. Religion is fake, but God is real, is in you. And the ascension is very important, 9th of May, tomorrow. And the 9th of May is also number nine, Tesla number 369. Nine is the godly number, God's number, because the decimal system, I'm a banker, former, is fake. The Satan, the Jews, invented it, the decimal system. It's fake news, mathematically. The largest number of all numbers, single numbers, is nine. It's completion. When I was in school, primary school, this, the teacher came. Okay, we, we learn how to count to, to nine. Okay, one plus three is four, and all this, like, four or five weeks, we got to know that. Then she came in. Today, we're learning the decimal system. What is this? I was, like, small, like, no. And then this is one, and zero is bigger than nine. I said, ma'am, I was very bad in school. Hey, you just told us for three weeks that nine is the biggest number and bigger than one, but and zero is nothing, that we are nothing if we are zero. And then you put zero and one, and you tell me now, Shut up. That's the way it is. <laughs> right. Bang. <laughs> we were goofed into this shit. I'm very sorry. <laughs> nine. The universe has one to nine. And with that mathematic, you can do a lot. It's a sphere at the same time a fractal. So you will learn mathematics the right way. Me too, by the way. don't know the right way. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so, Okay. <laughs> The governance yeah. of our, our territory, I won't call it a country because it's not a country. It's we territory. Yeah, exactly. So the, the, the governance of this territory called... Territories as well. 
<laughs> Excuse me, I, I lost you there. <clears throat> You there, Rick? Rick? Sono qua. <laughs> yeah, sorry about back. you. Yeah, I'm back. The, the question was, how is the governance of this territory and, and other territories around the planet, how is that going to actually yeah. function in short term and then long term? Easy, 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 easy. The military will take over. There will be military administration. That's good. Lean and mean. No politicians. So no more politics, political parties. No more, no more, no more. No more parliament. No need. They all nearly killed us, right? Um, no. The, what I know, and I don't know the details, I believe we the people is the global constitution. The best constitution ever, right? Beautiful. And that will be, I mean, ironclad defended and protected by the military justice system. The uniform codes of US military justice, we will use those with military judges and advocates to run, administer the country. Don't worry, it works. It's good. It's great. Look at after the Second World War, uh, Germany had military justice. The economy went through the roof. And it's going to be good. Your rights are protected. Um, and then what I was told, we're going to apply the US law of 1776. 76? Which is great law, by the way, great law. And until the lawyers, the new generation, are trained on that law, we will have that military um, mechanism, which means you're free <laughs> and you're safe. And later also, but then we have another uh, layer, but it's not a political layer. We never come back like that, never. And we have one law, makes it easier, right? One law, that's it. And we go away from maritime law, where the people had no rights to continental. The 7076 law is a continental law. And it's great. It's fantastic. Go and read it up. If it's online, you can read it. And we the people, it says, we the people, comma, the representatives. Trump said it to you. We transfer power back from the government to the people. We will have that constitution, everybody. We the people, comma, the representatives. We are the Congress. We are the Senate. We are the ministers, we are the president, so to speak, and we have the military doing purposefully the correct administration of our land and our property. That's the way we're going to live for, forward. Everything's fine, under control. And is there a, do you have a time frame on that? Are we talking 5, 10, 15, 20 years, or is that no, beyond? No, immediately. Imme no, no, no. I'm a pilot. If my system in the cockpit goes wrong on calculation on speed and altitude, I have to switch it off, throw it off, I mean, out. No, if we flip the switch, we flip the switch, huh? There's no yep. transition. Somebody lawyer said, oh, we'll have transition. I said, are you crazy? We're going, we are at war. The war of law, law of war manual is, in fact, in force. There's a transition. I said, you crazy politician thinking transition. You don't go, either you're pregnant or you're not. Oh, I'm half pregnant. Uh, you know how long is it? No, no, no. When we flip this, when the when the when the space force or the president of the United States, the commander in chief, flips the switch, everybody is the same: liberty, freedom, and love, light. Don't worry about the administration. It's all done for you, and that's the way it should be. And you have no more stress to go to nine to five slavery jobs. No, it will all change. It will all change. All will change. Yeah. I can tell you, that, tell you that. Prices will come down. We have no climate crisis, no food crisis. We have abundance of everything. That I can declare today. We have abundance of everything. Oil is not fossil. It is a regenerative substance. We have more oil than water under our feet. The earth is not quite round as a globe. It's much bigger than we thought. Again, please have no more fear. God is with you. And you will, tomorrow's Ascension Day, 9th, Let's celebrate that in the name of humanity and the lost souls that were separated from us. They are here, but in different dimension. And we will probably hopefully see them again. We will not die. We never die. Never. Light obliterates darkness. We are the guardians of humanity and our light obliterates the darkness of evil. And I add to that treason, comma, always. That was my proverb for this storm. That's what you got. Light Always 
puts out darkness always well pascal i think that is a perfect uh, a perfect point to finish this this uh, discussion um Derek johnson. And you hold up. yeah Derek Derek johnson. Johnson. Yeah. The Midnight Runner rides again. Please, ladies and gentlemen, I strongly recommend it to you. It is a, a resource that you need to get a hold of yes. to, to hold the evidence of what's occurred, why it's occurred, and how it was done. In fact, and it has two extra excellent uh, contributions by myself <laughs> Yes, in the back, which answers uh, a couple of questions that I was uh, frequently asked. How did it happen and why did it happen and why did it happen to have to happen the way it did? Yes. Um, and so Sarah, any button stuff you can push? No, unfortunately, we have to wait for the signal to come back. Maybe a kangaroo sitting on the antenna. Yeah, there's always that possibility. <laughs> they play around like they, they can, they're curious guys, right? Uh, they are. Hopefully, he'll. I come like back. to look at them, but when they're when they're big kangaroos come, I'm a bit scared. They're pretty pretty strong. They Ooh. certainly are. Yes, they certainly Ooh. are. They can kick very hard. Yeah, and it's good that here way. He comes. He's coming back yeah. in. Yeah. Okay, so. Back. So, uh, I don't know how much of that you got, but thank you so much. Do you have any uh, last uh, thoughts you'd like to share with the Australian people before we um, go? Our new world, out of today, tomorrow, even now, is reigned by love and light. And that's from God. And then I should maybe give you all greetings from JFK. Yeah, he's chilling. He's greeting you all. All of you. He's alive. I promise you will meet him. You'll see him alive. Good looking guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Pascal Najari, extraordinary uh, evening. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been an interview with Pascal Najari. And, uh, we wish you the most extraordinary life after this. It's going to be a, a tough ride. We all no, 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 no more tough ride. No, sir, please. No, 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 no. You mean what I mean is the exposition of what the evil that has been removed will be tough. Yes. But from here on, but from here on, it's a, it's a, it's a glorious, it's a glorious life again. Yes. Enjoy Ascension Day, number nine, and Lieutenant Colonel, I thank you very much for all of you have done in your career to protect. The divine human species you have risked your lives many times no need to go there these are secret operations and you have done it for the right cause and i commend you i thank you as a comrade for that and that's greatest respect thank you very much sir my pleasure my pleasure ladies and gentlemen my name is ricardo bozzi nationally of australia one you've been listening to pascal najari thank you for your time we'll see you next week Yes, and thank you, Sarah. The background there, Sarah, grazie mille. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Sempre su.